Hey everyone, David and Dana here with Corazon Healing Arts and today we're going to be making a do-it-yourself sunscreen. So we have been studying a lot about all the different kinds of products that are out there that you can buy commercially and really understanding that there are a lot of chemicals and hormone disruptors and endocrine disruptors that are in these products. Um, so sunscreen, one of the more common one is oxybenzone. So we're going to be using some essential oils, shea butter, and um, some other kinds of oils, and we'll show you that soon. And we're really um, excited to get started. Let's yeah, get let's started. get started. So we have olive oil, vitamin E, and fractionated coconut oil here, some beeswax, some organic uh, shea butter here in the bowl. And then we have our sandalwood and helichrysum to add afterwards, some zinc, and we're good to go. So it's melted, we're gonna remove it from the heat and add our zinc oxide and some of our essential oils. So come, come here. Okay, okay, okay. This is the, the final moment. It's still warm, so I think it's gonna solidify yeah, a little it's still more. It's pretty liquidy, but. Oh, it feels good. It feels really good. Look at that nice shine it has too. Not that like white, sticky, crazy, uh, well, I don't know what that is. That this is zinc oxide. That... Oh, it's, I'm excited. I can't wait to get in the sun. Let's go. Let's get in the sun. <laughs> just about finished it took about 15 minutes which was super quick and easy and it actually surprised me um, so you don't need to like oh wait until the right moment to do it and I just want to go over these two beautiful oils the hill chrysamon sandalwood that we used both are super super healing for the skin and have um, a really amazing grounding qualities and also additionally support our respiratory system so as an acupuncturist I always find it um, really amazing when the oils correspond you know for our skin and our respiratory system because that's how um, it is in Chinese medicine the lungs are really associated with our skin so remember your skin is the largest organ in the body and anything that you're putting on your skin is just like you're eating it so really um, try it we're really excited to hear how you like yours <laughs> 